Dr. Gubaka was a prominent doctor who served the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars, specializing in both artificial intelligence and experimental superweapons technology. He was put to work inside of the research and development lab of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant and worked very closely with the Jedi Order in designing their spy droids. But what happened to him after the Jedi were almost completely wiped out in the events of Order 66? And why do the deaths of trillions lay on his back? Let's find out. So, in the final days of the Republic, Dr. Gubaka contributed to outfitting the D-Squad after they visited his laboratory to receive upgrades. After this, he continued working hard for the Republic until the dark day of Order 66 came, and he heard news that the Jedi had committed treason, and attempted to overthrow the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic, who of course was Palpatine. After hearing this, Gubaka was disgusted with the Jedi, but continued his work as first and foremost he was a man of science and military. No matter who was leading, which was definitely not going to be the Jedi anymore, he wanted to support the Republic wherever they went. As the Republic transitioned into the Empire, Dr. Gubaka remained loyal to this brand new Empire because it was pretty much exactly the same from his point of view. His job remained intact, and his work was unimpeded, and to him, Palpatine had just pulled off one of the greatest wartime victories ever recorded. As a result of his outstanding loyalty, Dr. Gubaka was recruited to a group called the Strategic Advisory Cell, which was a group of officials proficient in energy science, exotic weapons, power conversion, and crystal focusing. And I'm sure you can see where this is going. Throughout the early days of the Empire, the Doctor was placed under a more specific group inside of the Strategic Advisory Cell, which had the name the Special Weapons Group. In this group, he was joined by none other than Lieutenant Commander Orson Krennic himself. Alongside Krennic, he worked tirelessly on the Empire's new technological terror, the DS-1 Orbital Battle Station, or the Death Star, all the way up to its test firing on Jeddah. After that, however, nobody heard from Dr. Gubaka ever again, and he has not shown up since. At this point, it is very possible that he was killed off by Palpatine and the Empire after completing his work on the Death Star and contributing all of his years of scientific knowledge to the project. It wouldn't be the first time that this has happened. So let me know down below what you think happened to him. Do you think he was assassinated by Palpatine and the Empire now that his use was done? Or do you think he went off into the sunset to live a better life? Let me know down below. So that is the unsettling fate of Dr. Gubaka after the Clone Wars. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.